He is known for being a pioneering biologist and academic in the field of science. He is recognized for his groundbreaking work in marine biology, cytology, and parthenogenesis. His name is Ernest Everett Just. In the realm of scientific pioneers, one name stands out, Ernest Everett Just, an African-American biologist who made significant contributions to the field. Just's groundbreaking work focused on the fundamental role of the cell surface in organism development. His research in marine biology, cytology, and parthenogenesis revolutionized the way scientists approached studying cells. Born in Charleston, South Carolina, Just faced numerous obstacles due to racial discrimination. However, his passion for science and his unwavering determination propelled him forward. Just advocated for studying whole cells under normal conditions, rather than dissecting them in a controlled laboratory setting. This approach allowed for a more comprehensive understanding of cellular processes and their impact on overall organism development. Just's most notable achievement was his recognition of the crucial role of the cell surface. He demonstrated that the outer layer of cells played a vital role in guiding cell adhesion, migration, and differentiation. This discovery had profound implications for understanding embryonic development and paved the way for future advancements in the field. Ernest Everett Just's legacy is a testament to the power of perseverance and the impact one individual can have on scientific progress. His emphasis on studying cells in their natural state set the stage for a new era of research. Just's work continues to inspire scientists today, reminding us of the importance of embracing diversity and pushing the boundaries of knowledge for the betterment of humanity. Ernest Just's groundbreaking scientific discoveries left a lasting legacy that continues to be celebrated to this day. In 1983, Kenneth R. Manning penned the biography, Black Apollo of Science, The Life of Ernest Everett Just, which won the prestigious Pfizer Award and was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. Such recognition shed light on Just's extraordinary contributions. In recognition of Just's remarkable achievements, the U.S. Postal Service issued a commemorative stamp in his honor in 1996. This gesture further solidified the importance of his work and its impact on the scientific community. Just's legacy also inspired the establishment of the annual Ernest E. Just Symposium at the Medical University of South Carolina since 2000. The symposium aims to encourage aspiring non-white students to pursue careers in biomedical sciences and health professions. The scientific community continued to pay tribute to Just's brilliance and influence. In 2008, a symposium funded by the National Science Foundation was held at Howard University, where Just had been a faculty member. Esteemed scientists presented papers dedicated to Just in a special issue of the journal Molecular Reproduction and Development, published in 2009. Just's name lives on through various awards and symposia. The American Society for Cell Biology has been presenting an award and hosting a lecture in his name since 1994. Additionally, institutions such as the University of Chicago and Dartmouth College, where Just earned his degrees, have established prizes and symposia bearing his name. The impact of Just's work extended beyond the United States. In 2013, an international symposium honoring Just took place in Naples, Italy, where he had worked at the Stazione Zoologica and Tondora. This global recognition showcased the profound influence Just had on the field of biology. Ernest Everett Just's revolutionary ideas and unwavering dedication to scientific exploration continue to inspire generations of scientists. His theories on the dynamic nature of life and the importance of cellular organization revolutionized our understanding of biology. From commemorative stamps to symposia and awards, Just's legacy remains alive, reminding us of the immense contributions he made to the scientific community. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.